So what do you do for a living? I help blind kids. Oh, really? Same. Maybe I should come visit you at your workplace. Huh. This isn't a school for blind children. I thought you said you help blind kids. I do. I blind them. So, for this problem, you've got four apples and eight people, and you can only make four cuts. How do you make it so that everybody has an equal share of an apple? What do you mean you're worried about how I'm raising my kid? What do you mean, what do I mean? What kind of solution is this? I would like you to take me out. <sighs> you know... This has been a very fantastic even- It's pronounced GIF. No, it's pronounced JIF. I'm sorry, but do you pronounce God as Jod? Maybe I do. Hello, I am here to announce that it is pronounced YIF. Okay, Yod. If you had a sibling, would you slap them for a million dollars? Of course not. I would never do such a thing. Would you slap your sibling for a million dollars? That would be a million dollars, please. Make that two million dollars. Hello. I have come to offer you a deal. I will give you one million dollars. However, you must write a name of someone you have met in real life in this book, and they will die an excruciatingly painful death. Alright, what's the catch? That was the catch. Someone you know dies if you take the money. So, there's no catch. Alright, I'll take the money. Are you really okay with this? You are killing someone you know just for monetary gain. You, sir, are underestimating how many enemies I have made in my life. Behold! You've heard of healing crystals. Crystals whose aura and vibes can heal your body and soul. Today, I present Harming Crystals! Crystals whose aura and vibes will hurt you. How is it gonna hurt people? Is it radioactive? Nope. There is no radiation coming from these rocks whatsoever. Okay, then how is it going to hurt people? Man, coming out to the lake was a good idea. The flowers are so pretty. Didn't this place used to be like a minefield or something? With the apocalypse outside, I'll be safe in my doomsday bunker and armed guards. That's nice. Can we bring our families here? Ew, no. I don't want poor people dirtying my doomsday bunker. If you can't guarantee our families will be safe, then why are we guarding you? Because I'm paying you. In this economy, your money's worthless. There's nothing to buy. I hired you, so you must protect me and all these supplies that will help me ride out the apocalypse. Why don't we just kill you and take the supplies for ourselves? Uh, actually, I like that idea better. Let's get him, boys! So, I'm heading to the beach. I'll see you later tonight. Would you mind getting me something from there? Sure thing. When I asked you to get me something from the beach, I meant like a seashell. Well, maybe say that next time! <laughs>